welcome back to my channel as you can see I've just washed my hair I washed and conditioned it using the same um, shampoo and conditioner that I used last week the Garnier Frick Tease banana and coconut ones today's video is going to be a styling video but still in the no no oils and butters challenge so I am gonna be doing a braid out today but using a mousse and I've never used a mousse for a braid out before. Um, I've used mousse for a wash and go. I've used it for flexi rods, but never a braid out. So this will be interesting to see how it goes. So the mousse that I'm gonna use is this one. So this is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Rose Water and Argan Oil Soft and Smooth Curl Mousse. And this um, fits all the rules of the challenge. Um, there are no oils in or butters in the first five ingredients. So the seventh ingredient is argan oil. So I've never used it before either. So this is kind of going to be, a, I guess, a little review, first impression of the product. I haven't used a mousse in a while, actually. I'm quite excited to use a mousse. Um, as you can see, just took my hair out of my microfiber towel. I had my hair in that for about five minutes just while I did my makeup, like a quick makeup. And now I'm gonna do my hair and then I have um, an appointment to go to. So I'm in a little bit of a rush. So I'm gonna section my hair off. As you can see, my hair dries very quick, but so the good thing about a mousse is that it's wet. It's basically like water because obviously like the consistency of it is very watery so I don't think I need to like re-wet my hair when using this because when I put this on it's basically gonna re-wet it anyway so I'm gonna use the braid out pattern that I used in my last braid out video where I found the perfect braid out pattern and it is the perfect braid out pattern so obviously I'm gonna use that again basically that's two braids at the back This is my first section. As you know, there are no leave-ins in this challenge. Well, not in my version of the challenge anyway. So I'm just gonna go straight in with the mousse. smells really really nice you can really smell the rose water I'm gonna use a little bit more just that much and just brush it through okay and then I'm gonna braid it up So I actually forgot to say, um, if you haven't seen my other two videos on this challenge, you might be confused at why I'm using a mousse for braid out, but in the challenge it's recommended to use a mousse for braid outs and twist outs if that's your preferred style. And I'm just going to do a twist just at the very end. I love it with more mousse actually as well. And that's our first braid.
So I just wanted to tell you how the um, process is going. I've been noticing that when I'm brushing through my hair, so this bit here, I should have showed you on the other side, but this bit here, if you look, it's not really going through. And my hair is detangled. I detangled it in the shower with the conditioner. And I know that if I had applied a leave-in or was using a more creamy product for this process, I would have no problem getting the brush through at all. I just felt like that was something to note because you can see that ain't going anywhere. So yeah, I'm having to like start at the bottom and kind of really tangle. Not, not much, like that bit just took a few extra goes and now it's fine again. As I said, I haven't needed to re-wet my hair because I'm using mousse, so the mousse kind of wets your hair anyway. Yeah, I feel like as long as the hold is there, this is gonna turn out good. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last though, because I feel like my hair doesn't last as long in braid outs anyway, as much as it does with a wash and go. I normally only get like three or four days out of a braid out. So I'm probably gonna have to rewash my hair at the end of the week. Okay, so that's my hair fully braided. I am gonna be going out to an appointment today. Um, so I'm gonna have to go out with my hair like this. I'd rather not, but you know curly hair problems I guess that's how much I used so quite a lot actually I would say but it's the only product I'm using so I feel like if I'm only using one styling product cost wise you know that's acceptable <laughs> but yeah overall I'm liking this application wise but obviously I'll let you know how it dries for now I'm gonna go out in the streets like this so Wish me luck. Hi guys, so it's the next day and I'm ready to take out these braids. I was hoping that they were dry within the day but they weren't quite dry. They were probably dry just before I went to bed but by that time um, the light was gone obviously and I don't have my ring light with me so um, I had to wait until today to take them out so it probably took it probably took about eight hours for them to dry then so yeah maybe a little bit less than usual but not like a crazy amount less when I usually do a braid out with creams it normally takes about 12 hours to dry so maybe a few hours down on that and um, they feel really good though they feel really um, like they've got a kind of crispy feel but in a good way that you know that there's some hold there so when I take these out they're not just going to completely frizz up well I hope they're not um, and they also look quite shiny they feel moisturized so I'm gonna take these out I nearly grabbed an oil to put on my hands to take them out because usually when I would take out braids I would or twists I'll put oil on my hands to reduce frizz but Obviously we're not doing that this time, so bare hands and um, let's get these taken out. So I'm going to be as careful as possible, especially as I don't have oil on my hands. Okay, that's the first one undone. Looking shiny and defined. A little bit of frizz, but I think I would have that anyway, actually. Okay, that is all the plaits taken out. Feels really good. Looks really good, I think. Getting a lot of definition. A lot of shine. So now I'm gonna start separating. I find this bit so satisfying. So I'm gonna try not to separate too much because I want this to last as long as possible. It's not gonna last a week, I don't think, but. I want it to last at least. It's Tuesday now, 
so I want it to last until you know the end of the week like Friday and then I, I might rewash my hair on Friday because I want it to look good for the weekend oh I'm getting frizz at the end there I think that's because I just ripped that piece apart a bit violently <laughs> the ends are getting frizzy I can see and there's nothing I can do about it because I can't put oil on my hands normally I would put a like a balm on the ends to stop that or like shea butter I also think I need a trim because I mean, my ends shouldn't be sticking together like that anyway and I think they are because I need a trim okay so that is my hair separated I didn't separate too many times probably I separated each piece about once or twice so the sections are still quite thick I am getting frizz on the ends like I mentioned earlier but it's actually not too bad now it's all out like I don't think it looks terrible um, I am noticing that the volume in general after taking this out is way more than it would have been if I had used a lot more products I think just using the mousse has really given me a lot of volume but the downside of that is that I think it's not gonna last as long I think this volume is just gonna grow a bit too quickly <laughs> and then it's gonna be frizzy in a couple of days I like how it looks today I think it looks really good I haven't picked it out or anything and I'm not going to because again I want it to last I'm gonna head out now and I will show you how my hair gets on throughout the week So this is my hair on day two. As you can see, there is a bit more frizz, but it's still looking good, I think. There's still a lot of definition, as you can see, underneath. So I was still quite happy with how it looked on the second day. Um, but then on day three, I think there was just a bit too much frizz, especially on that side. I always get more frizz on that side of my head, this side. That I'm showing now isn't as frizzy um, but I didn't refresh on that day because I don't think I was doing anything important um, and then this was day five and I believe this is the day that I refreshed because I think I was going out somewhere so I'm gonna show you how I refreshed in just a minute so I just got more of the same product and just took little bits of my hair and redefined them. So just took strands and kind of re-shingled them and just ran a bit of the mousse down the length of the hair just at the top on both sides wherever I could see some frizz and then just refresh those pieces. And then I took a little bit more of the mousse and just, as you can see what I'm doing, I'm scrunching and I'm putting mousse on the top as well to kind of flatten the frizzies down a little bit. So that's really all I needed to do to refresh. I think it ended up looking good after I'd done that refresh. It literally took me five minutes and as you can see the frizz on both sides is pretty much gone and it looks good again so this is day six and i believe this is i either washed it on this day or i washed it the next day but it was the last day that i kind of wore it but that is the end of the video so i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one